What's going on guys? Captain Milton with Extreme Trophy Fishing and Manny. Tell them what's up, Manny. What's up, y'all? And we are out here with our good friend, uh, Michael Ross. And uh, we're fishing for Gar, guys. <laughs> Let's go! Uh, check down there, look what we got down there. That is the Texas Alligator Gar, y'all. This one, uh, we got two of them actually. We got a six footer and a five footer that Mike just caught. So before we release them guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tag these fish. We tag them for the Texas Park and Wildlife. Uh, we're all about conservation. We're all about letting these fish grow. Uh, and Mike will tell you a little bit more about alligator gar. Go ahead, Mike. Hey, how's it going guys? So if you look right here, as you can see, is a, this fish is just over six feet long. She's a uh, 70, I don't know, 20, 20 years old or so. These, these guys are very slow to grow, very slow to grow, very slow to breed. So I would say about 20 years old. Um, as you can see, this is a perfectly healthy one based on her color and her appearance. She doesn't have any marks or malformations of any kind. She's actually a pretty solid fish. Um, there's, they have a very interesting scientific name for any of you fish geeks out there. Their scientific name is, it's called Attractostius spatula. Their species name is spatula, kind of like the one you put hamburgers with. It's a funny name. It's believed that they have that spatula name based on their, their flat snout. Kind of, kind of like a spatula. She's not happy. So anyway, alligator gar, one of the most prehistoric fish in Texas waters. They've been around about 250 million years. So since the time of, and probably even before the dinosaurs. So they're a very prehistoric fish. A lot of people think of them as trash fish or bad fish. They eat game fish. It's really not true. They're actually a very vital resource to our rivers and lakes. They keep the bottom clean. They eat sick and dying animals. And they just kind of, like I said, keep the ecosystem healthy. So that's right. Not, not good to not good to poach these guys. That's in, right. In mass quantities. Look how thick that fish is. Yeah, as you can tell, this is this look is how thick likely, it is. Nice and healthy. A female, most likely a female, mm -hmm. just based on her her girth. Females tend to be more girthy than males. This one right here, I it's hard to say. It's probably either a male or a or a immature female. But yeah, we got two two nice healthy ones. We, we're out here all day long, and we just got these two guys in the last 20 minutes. So, so we're gonna go ahead and tag them. We're gonna so, get it on video. Day. Get closer, Manny. What we do is we tag these guys on the left hand left hand side. Uh, we get in between those scales right there. Go all the way in first, all the way in, all the way in. Okay, trigger. Let it go. Pull out. And you just make sure it's in. Yeah. And grab it. Slimy. Anybody else catches this fish, there's a phone number that they can call. We've got measurements, we've got girth. Kind of like this This one over here, this five footer. This one's got a tag, what was it, um, Mike? Uh, one, 1088. 1088. Uh, uh, we took measurements of the length and of the girth. Uh, we're gonna call Texas Park and Wildlife and they'll let us know where this was caught, when it was caught, and the approximate GPS location. But uh, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take a couple pictures and we're gonna To put them back in the water and uh, we appreciate you guys checking us out let's go shrimp trophy fishing y'all